Heather Ramirez has two young sons and a third on the way. As a parent, she says it broke her heart to hear that someone shot and killed four-year-old Lily Garcia. What would I do if it was one of my kids? I can't imagine the pain they're going through. She tells me this hasn't only had an impact on her, but on her seven-year-old son, too. He heard the news himself and wanted to understand what happened. It's hard to explain something so senseless to a mind, you know, such as his that he doesn't really understand yet, you know, because he's only seven. Alfredo Palacios is a licensed mental health counselor. When talking to children about difficult subjects like this, he says the first thing you need to do, consider their age. Then let them ask the questions. Well, allow them to kind of lead that conversation and kind of ask you um, what it is they need to know. Balacio says for some parents, the instinct may be to shield their kids from hearing anything about this case. He says that's okay, but if a child does find out, they need to be prepared to answer the tough questions. And be honest about what's going on because uh, it's a terrible thing, but it's really happening all around them. Heather agreed. Being honest with her son was the only way she knew how to help her son wrap his head around this. Well, there's bad people out there that, that do things that hurt other people. Because no matter how you go about it, it's never easy to help a child understand something that even adults are struggling to comprehend. Palacios also adds that this case isn't only a lesson for kids about death, but also for parents to learn to control their anger when they're driving or in other situations so that children learn to model positive behavior. Shelley, back to you. And our coverage